Hey everybody, Tom Trams, Linux MCE. It's uh, 2 in the morning and I just uh, finished a preliminary implementation of USB gamepad support for Linux MCE. Now what this basically means is that you can use any USB gamepad and use it to control the orbiter on Linux MCE. Now just as a, a quick test, uh, right now all of the uh, all of the mappings can be redefined currently as device data. I will take and make a button mapper for this later. But for now I've set some of the defaults to reasonable default values and they all map to a fairly standard six axis compatible uh, joystick layout here. In my case my uh, I have 12 buttons and uh, six axes here. So getting started I go ahead and I press the uh, one button here and that's the OK but it also brings up my menu here and uh, arrow keys and whatnot work as expected as you can see here right now key repeat is not implemented uh, but it will be at some point in the future I'll go ahead and select with the one here I'll just go ahead and select the movie here. Scroll down over to the left. Now it is worth noting that the analog controls also select. I don't have any debouncing routines in here, so right now it's sending all of those events across. So it will quickly fill up the, key, the buffer very quickly. I'm going to take and uh, resolve this in the near future. So I'm going to go ahead and select again. All left over. Press the 1. Now I will go ahead and go into the menu here by pressing my little start button here. Oh, sorry. Yep, there we go. And I can then go over and select the lights and whatnot, of course. Select the lights. Oops, sorry. My bad. Go over and select the lights. So I can you can see this goopy thing. It's a bit hard doing this at the same time I'm holding the camera. But now we're back. Now I'm going to go ahead and mouse over to the off here. Select, turn off. And just to show that this actually works across the board, I'm now going to actually go to uh, I'm now actually going to go to Hulu. select here and because Linux MCE is abstracting everything you'll find that the uh, all of the buttons also work here on Hulu transparently front back etc nice huh and of course go back go up select stop and of course going over to TV also works as well you'll note that this works an awful lot like the infrared remote control as it should, because it's using the same code, essentially. I'll go ahead and select this. And you'll notice that I'm using the gamepad to select these things and to do the proper adjustments. Now, currently, uh, the one thing that I need to do is I need to modify Orbiter to send screen type notifications to my... Uh, to send screen type notifications to my gamepad device so that I can properly change button mappings on the fly. And once this is actually done, we'll find that the uh, orbiter mapping and everything else will work properly. 
But um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and kind of give this as a demonstration here so you could see everything in place and everything working here pretty much for the most part. I still have uh, another 20 or so hours left of work to do to take and refine it to get it to a point where I will release it. After which point, uh, I will take and uh, add it to the system as a plug and play script so that anytime a gamepad is connected, it will automatically take and download and install both the gamepad template and the, uh, and the re relative uh, devices here. Now, I can go ahead and I'll go ahead and actually point at my screen here so you can see a little bit of what's going on. And let's go into the Linux MCE website. And you can see right here we have uh, a USB gamepad device. And this is the primary device for this particular system here. It actually installs itself as a child device of the core hybrid or your nearest media director. And like any other remote, it also installs a remote device. Now the remote device is actually where you can do a lot of good because you can change the key mappings. As you can see here, first you have here is the key sim, then you have the equivalent USB gamepad symbols here to use for both uh, repeat and uh, for both uh, down and repeat. Currently repeat is not being used but it will be some, at some time in the future. But the basic idea here is to simply take and uh, allow yourself to select both button mappings such as USB-Gamepad-B5 which is button number 5 or axis mappings such as up, down, left, right, USB gamepad up, USB gamepad down, left and right. There will be more key sims so you can specify specifically D-pad mappings or the analog stick mappings as need be. But for right now these should be uh, relatively, they should work relatively well once I get the screen type notifications in place. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to go ahead and show you. Uh, until next time guys, have fun and I will take and make an updated status report when I have more to show. Later.